Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth on the PlayStation 4. Uh, in the last episode, we had tons and tons of technical issues. By the way, none of those technical issues had anything to do with the PlayStation 4. If anything, the fact that I was playing on the PlayStation 4 made it so everything was cool. That way, when my computer crashed, it didn't matter. I still could play. Um, so, uh, last episode was a mess because I had uh, a bunch of technical issues. And I found a real. I, I, the problem with the last episode is I did so much cool stuff. I got such a great item. Um, I uncovered this cool, like, little new thing in the game. But it just. There were so many technical issues. Um, we won't go into it, though. I did unlock Eden, which I got for going to Hell or Shoal. I always called Hell, though. I'm not going to use Eden. I basically. Uh, oh, you get Eden tokens. Hmm. So you can't just use them every time. I don't know why it says I don't have a win streak. That seems weird. But anyway, uh, we're going to be playing as Isaac, as always. And uh, we're basically working towards defeating the heart, I think, nine times? you got to beat Mom's heart nine times to get it lives. <clears throat> but yeah, we're going to start off fresh. Hopefully, no technical issues here. You know, I've hopefully taken care of all my computer issues. I'm using different audio recording software and... Uh, you know, hopefully everything goes without a hitch, you know? That's all I can really hope for at this point. Um, and I, I guess what I need to do is just not do a mass recording, because that's when it really becomes, an, when technical issues really screw me over, is when I do mass recordings. Um, because, you know, a technical issue, if it's just one video, like, then that's, you know, whatever. Uh, 40 minutes wasted. But I get into this bad habit of, I'm gonna record, I'm gonna record eight videos in one sitting, in one file. And that's the thing, it's really not that inconvenient for me to hit, you know, stop on the recorder and then start again, you know, for like a new episode, but I never do that. Ooh, that's number one, right? So number one's interesting, it's a tears upgrade, but it rain it lowers your range like crazy, and we're also pissing on everything, which is hilarious. Um, we have like this really sinister look, like we look like a total asshole because we're just gonna piss on everything. We're rude. We're rude dudes with lots of tude. And also my phone is ringing, which is weird because it's 8 o'clock at night. It's a little bit late to be calling me. I mean, I, I mean, okay, it was no one important, obviously, if it was someone. Or it was, it was like a like a Comcast. Well, not Comcast. Anyway, I don't know who it was. It was 1-800 number. <clears throat> it's a bit late to be getting calls from a 1-800 number. But anyway, um, yeah, I, number one is a good... Not good, but it's an interesting first item because it uh, it's an interesting base. You know, what I mean, like it lowers our range, which is unfortunate, but it way ups our uh, rate of fire, which rate of fire in a lot of ways is for me the most important thing. Um, I really want to get Basement Boy. I've gotten Basement Boy on Steam, but I haven't gotten it on PS4 yet. I would like to do that. Um, I also to played a little bit on the Vita. I'm probably gonna make a separate save for, you know, not re recording, or I don't know what I'll do yet, because I really, nah, yeah, because yeah, I'd rather show everything off, so yeah, I'll probably make a separate save file, but I played a little bit on the Vita, and oh my god, it's just so glorious, and it's so cool to have a game like this on the Vita, um, Rotten Meat, HP upgrade, never gonna complain about that, hopefully we can get a deal with the devil, I, did we, I think we got one deal with the devil last episode, and then I think we got the, an option for a second one that I, I skipped out on. Um, but yeah, you know, I like, I like number one, not like, oh, I like number one, you know, put it all over my face. That's not what I'm saying. Um, but everybody has a price. Uh, no. We're fighting Sloth, which actually, number one, like using number one to fight Sloth is kind of a pain, because we gotta get so close, and he throws bombs, but it really didn't matter. And we got a key, and Bob's Rotten Head. Bob's Rotten Head's fine item. Um... It's a free bomb after, you know, in every three rooms it's a free bomb, which is cool. And it does poison damage. I mean, I, you know, if you don't have any other spacebar item, I'm, if I don't have another spacebar item, I'm pretty much never going to complain about a spacebar item. Unless it's like Kamikaze or basically anything that has no positive. Even Kamikaze isn't the worst thing ever because it, it, it's still a free bomb. Um, but yeah, Bob Rotten Head is totally fine. Um, spacebar item or left bumper item. I need to change the way I talk about the buttons in this game, because that's why I keep making mistakes. Though I haven't made a mistake like that in a while, where I, you know, use a tarot card instead of dropping a bomb, or instead of using a spacebar item, or what have you. 
I do, and I still stand by my the fact that I think one of the I think the best way to play this game is with a uh, controller. Spelunker hat is all right. I mean, it's not. It's better than all right. It's a good item. And it's a good item to get this early on. Um, and also, it will let us see where secret rooms are, which is always helpful. It's just, you know, not necessarily what I want. But it, it's again, it's all about building a base. And uh, Spelunker Hat's good for building a base if you want to like dig a hole for your base. And I, I'm just kind of rambling on about nothing now. We'll go ahead and use Bob's Rotten Head. Do some poison damage. Do some explosive damage. Oops, I didn't. That is one thing I will say though about this controller is I keep accidentally tapping the map. So like the way the map works is like if you tap it, it opens up and stays there, and then if you click it, you just pull it up real quick. But it's so easy to just look very, it's very sensitive to the touch. Um, so I find myself touching it quite often. I, I guess this is just going to be the perverted episode. Oh my god, pentagram! Oh my god, pentagram sounds like a, an oxymoron. Telepills, or teleport, I've gotten that before actually, where it teleports you back into the devil room, which is kind of funny, but pentagram's awesome, and we did get a spirit heart, so... All around a great floor. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I am drinking tonight. I'm drinking a Jacko Traveler. It's it's November 4th, but I'm still drinking Halloween liquor. I have like I have four different types of Halloween like pumpkin liquor, and I just I love it. It's so good. But to be fair, now we're getting to like Christmas beers, which are also really good. Um, I'm, oh, I should wait. I don't know what I, well, I should be okay. Like, I have a really quick rate of fire, and also, oh, these enemies are actually really shitty, though, for my situation. But I think I got it. All right. Um, I should have waited, but, you know, I do have a whole spirit heart, and there's a good chance I'll get another spirit heart. Plus, this is only the caves one, so there's a good chance I can avoid taking much damage. But I don't want to jinx it. You know, the other thing too is like, you know, you know, by the way, I am, you know, I'm 23, or I will be 23 December 1st. Don't forget to wish me a happy birthday. But uh, I will, you know, I'm of age, so I can drink. But sometimes when I drink, it makes recording videos way easier for me because it loosens me up a bit, not too concerned about anything. You know, it's just, it's, it's a little bit easier for me to enjoy my recording. I think if I blow this up, I think I can, oh wait, I can just go to the other side. I'm like trying to curve the bullet. Actually, I think just this side will work fine, right? Yeah, that works. Sweet. Um, but yeah, drink, like, you know, drinking calm, it doesn't calm, well, I mean, it's a depressant, so yeah, it naturally like calms you down, but it makes recording a little bit easier for me. I don't feel as anxious. Which is good. But sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes I get a little, like, too drunk. Not drunk, but I drink too much and I start to feel sleepy. Or no, I'm sorry. I don't drink enough and I start to feel sleepy. Or I drink too much and I start to just get sloppy. Um, which, you know, neither one is, you know, neither one is a good thing. And I'm not trying to, like, I'm going to just stop talking about drinking now because I feel like someone's going to take it the wrong way. All right, well, spiders. Oh, well. It's always worth to check those rooms. And that's the thing. You know, I was like, oh, no, Splunker's Hat's okay, but we're going to be able to go into every single secret room for the entire game. Like, that's good. This is a good thing. I'm, I'm just going to go fight the boss. Oh, shit. It's the Fallen. That's actually awesome. Oh, damn it. Well, at least I hit him. But I was going to say I should have saved that till he splits in two so I could poison both halves. Oof, I really don't want to take damage. I mean, I can, still, I can take one extra hit, but I don't want to. That was a pretty impressive dodge, if I do say so myself. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, there we go. We get Ghost Baby. Ghost Baby Killer, Spectral Buddy. Uh, you know, he shoots through stuff. He's my buddy, though. He, you know, I love, I love uh, little familiars. They're very helpful. And this one's good, too, because we can kind of just hide in a corner... And uh, you can take him out. I gotta remember that I can't, I'm not flying anymore. Ooh. All right, I've gotten this before. Mysterious liquid. Ended up 
that creates a green creep, and our tears look so cool. I don't know if they're being affected by the yellow still. I mean, I've gotten this once before, and the green is like a pretty fluorescent green anyway, but I feel like now it's a little brighter because of the yellow, but I can't really tell. But this is actually awesome. So it creates a creep, as you can already tell, but it's awesome for us because we're uh, shooting so quickly. Also, okay, for a minute I thought, yeah, if you very lightly hold down a joystick, you can make just your familiar shoot. That's actually really cool. Huh. I didn't even know that was a thing. Interesting. It's a nice little tweak right there. I like that. Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, this is really cool because we're, we have such a quick rate of fire. So we can make, like, a pretty big pile of creep. And I'm gonna say, there are some other, like, this is a really good addition in the game, and that's um, a lot of weapons where you can create creep. And that was something that, you know, I think most people expected to see in the game, but it, it's been implemented really, really well. Um, and this is one of those items, and actually, this is, I got this item during one of the runs that, you know, got erased, unfortunately, wrist in peace. Um, but when I got it, I didn't really utilize it like I am going to get to utilize it now. Alright, so we got a health upgrade too. I didn't even really think about that. I mean, I saw it, but I didn't really think to mention it. I was like, well, of course I'm getting health. So yeah, as you can see, they're taking damage. And I don't know how much damage it does. Like, I don't know if it's, like, you know, a second of them standing on it is equivalent to getting hit by a tear. I really don't know how that distribution works, but either way, it's doing extra damage. And uh, I wonder if there's any way to make it last longer, like if something increases how long the creep stays there. But, it, you know, even honestly, another tears upgrade would be cool at this point. And I wonder if, like, having Polyphemus, like, if it makes a bigger puddle, but I kind of doubt it. But yeah, right now, we really need to build up our range again. I mean, we're doing a good amount of damage just because of, uh... Pentagram? Oh god, we got this. Shit. Uh, no, nothing to do in there. Are you a wizard? I don't understand what that reference is, and if somebody could tell me what it is, I'd really appreciate it. Um, there's also the secret room in there, so I'm gonna go back. Um, but yeah, I don't really understand what the Are You a Wizard reference is, and I would like to know, because why wouldn't I? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I got hit by that, but I totally can, because it's me we're talking about here. Uh, I still don't know how you get rid of these blocks. I'm, I mean, I, I'm assuming there's just an item that'll, oh shit, okay. Um, full health pill, that's good to have around. Puberty is whatever. And I can see forever is also good. But does that only last for this level? I don't, oh shit, I just shouldn't have grabbed that because Are You a Wizard is terrible. I don't, yeah, I don't know if uh, I can see forever is for the whole game, or if it's, I'm assuming it, 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 it's probably either one floor or it just expires at some point, like some of these other pills do. And I actually really like that there's a lot of pills now that have, uh, that don't have permanent effects, because it was, the pills were almost becoming just like items, you know, and that was fine, but like, a lot of times it made, like, cane runs ridiculously overpowered, like, because all you would need is pills, and you would just get ridiculous stat boosts. Um, but now they've kind of changed it to, I mean, there's still the same pills you would see before, but there are a lot more pills that are, you know, neutral, rather than just good or bad, which I think is great, because that, that makes the pool larger for potential items, and it, you know, makes it a little more exciting and I'm not even I hate trying to figure out where that is but also I can just do this oh my god we have odd mushroom and number one um so we got odd mushroom like two videos in a row but that, I'm actually glad we got it again because in the last episode we didn't really get to take advantage of odd mushroom because we got Ludovico or Ludicola Ludicola Rudy Lud Ludicola it's Lud um but Fucking odd mushroom is great, especially with our our uh, the acid we be dropping. But I really don't. It's hard to tell. I mean, we're definitely shooting faster, but how much faster can we really shoot? Oh, all right. Forty hour energy would be good if we didn't already have this. 
Scatoli? No, the mulligan, that's right. Um, mulligan's cool. I mean, I believe that's just, you know. Oh, you know what? We should use Bob's Rotten Head. Um, the mushrooms. Ah, damn it, I shouldn't have grabbed that pill. The mush or the the mushrooms sometimes have pills, and I don't remember. I don't know if I've shared that information on an episode that was actually posted, so I'm I'd rather repeat myself than completely miss delivering specific information. So the yeah, the the acid is really Oh my god, that was stupid. Oh fuck you. Well, honestly, speed down is the worst thing ever. So here's this guy, and again, this is another thing where I really don't know if you guys have seen him because so many episodes have been imported, um, which that felt like a really good joke, you know what I mean? It. Um, but this guy, you know, I'm almost positive you guys have seen him. No, maybe not. Anyways, this guy is just a big, giant, gross man who shits and pukes, and he's awesome. Like, I think he's a really cool boss. Um, you know, he's interesting. But he's also pretty easy. Um, at least at this point. I'm sure we'll get to a, a point in the game where he becomes really difficult, and I'm sure we'll get to a point where we're fighting more than one at once, and it'll be terrible. Um, but we're not to that point yet, so I don't have to worry about it. And we'll go ahead and grab that battery, because why wouldn't we? And you know what, let's just, we have a good run going. Let's not, like, cheap ourselves out on rooms. We might as well explore some more. And I would like to find enough money to go into the shop. But I'm not going to worry too much about it if we can't. So let's see what's going on. We got these guys who are really easy to deal with. We'll fight creep with creep. Really no big deal. And that's new. Rosary bead. Faith up. Cool. That's good. And I'm going to... Oh, hello there, friends. I'm going to just use you. You're essentially like going to a shop. Um, just, you're not guaranteed to, oh my goodness. Hey, and we unlocked Magdalene, and we got the tank. And we unlocked another challenge. So that's fantastic. I'm very happy about that. I'm just gonna go. You know, I, I don't really see a point in doing anything else right here. I could have played the Blood Bank once, and maybe I should have, or I could have, you know what, yeah, let's do that. Are there any hearts? Other hearts? Yeah, there's one down there. I'm gonna I'm gonna give Demon what it was his name? Demon Bum? Dark Bum? Some hearts. Alright. Eh, ah, fuck. What is this? Hermit? It's a free shop. I'm gonna blow this up, see what we get. Yeah, let's go to the shop. Let's go. Eh. I guess it's not really worth it. But I'm gonna play this. Because I know it does something. Um, I don't... I mean, I know it does something. I don't know what that something means. It, that's what it does. It unlocks the blue map. Which I really don't know what that is. But I really want to know. I should use Bob's Rotten Head. What? Okay. That didn't work. Can I blow this up? I can get my money back. Some of my... Oh, no. I got all my money. No, wait. I think I lost a cent overall. Anyway... So cool, we unlocked the blue map. I have no idea what that does, but I have... When I played this at PAX, I found the blue map, but it didn't really do anything. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Sorry, I took a big swig of my pumpkin shandy, which... Oh, God, pumpkin. If you don't really like beer, it's totally understandable. I'm not the biggest beer fan either, but... There are so many things out there. Don't give up. Eventually you'll find something you can fall in love with. Fucking... I keep picking up that Are You a Wizard pill and I know I'm going to take it on accident. Give me a way to put that stuff down. That is all. Alright. So I'm still not in... T I mean, I'm, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about this run. Like, we've gotten good items, but we're still not necessarily in... Uh, I'm still not super confident we can beat Mom's heart. A uh, couple deals with the devil, or one deal with the devil could fix that up, of course, but... Um, actually, we could also get a... I think we could still get a deal with the angel, because we never actually took a devil item, but we did take chests from the devil room. I don't know if that affects it. You guys are just painting the floor red. 
It's like that, uh, what is that? Is that the stamp game from Paper Mario, or not Paper Mario, but Mario Party, where you gotta try and color more of your area before the other people? You guys don't, you guys played some Mario Party. But, uh, <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying now, because I made a dumb joke, and I was too far, oh, I, yeah, I don't, I definitely don't feel like we're, we're strong enough yet, and I really fucking hate these enemies, I just need to kill them as quick as I can. They're just like, you know, the normal jumpers are bad enough as it is. Let alone these big fat ones that do a bunch of damage and have a lot of health. Uh, but my big concern about fighting like Mom's Heart and stuff is that one of our biggest uh, advantages right now is our ability to drop this poison stuff. But I'm almost positive that the heart can't be hurt by this because it's floating technically. But it will still be helpful like against all the enemies that uh, Mom's Heart drops. Uh, this is a library, right? Yeah. So we can jump. Hey, hand jump! Bow, bow, bow. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hide. Um, I thought I, I thought I picked jump back up. Yeah, I don't know if I want jump. Um, I really think I'd rather have Bob's Rotten Head. Jump is really cool. I mean, I guess we could go back and grab it for that one bomb, but maybe I'll just see how much stuff there really is to get. And then I'll go back for it. So now we have to we have to go back to blowing up curse room or uh yeah, secret rooms, curse rooms. What am I even talking about? I was hoping to hit somebody, but my timing wasn't that great. Come on. I kind of completely forgot about Ghost Baby. I mean, we're doing like we're shooting so quick. It's and it's a transparent shot, so it's hard to even see. So this means that the the shop is legit, and I might end up going. Hopefully we can get something good from fighting greed here. And that is good. We'll definitely go to the shop now. And we get one penny. And we can come over here, save a key. Ooh, this is new. Smart fly. Cool. So it's a normal orbitable. It looks like an orbitable. It's an orbital. Orbitable is something that I probably only said because I've been drinking. Orbitable. Um, but it pro I'm guessing it's a normal orbital, but then it'll fly off and hit something um, to, to get revenge. It is called the Revenge Fly. So that's pretty cool. That's better than the one fly that only comes out if you've been attacked. Like, that sucks. Like, I, I don't know if I got... I don't think I've shown you guys that because I might have gotten that in a, uh, a failed episode. I did it. I used the pill on accident. Uh, but there is a fly that only goes... This is... Damn it. Oh, shit. Can I get through this without taking two hits? I could. I don't know if I will, especially now that I have... I'm a wizard. Shit. <laughs> that was stupid. Alright, um, we should run to the shop before we go any further. Because, you know, maybe at the shop there will be something that will keep me from dying. But it's not, and it's not very likely. Um, what was down? Well, it was just a bomb down here, right? God, I love, I really love this game. Like, I think it's, it's so. I, I feel like I haven't talked enough about it. Like, I, in one of my original recordings, I had this weird moment where I'm just like, Jesus, this game is brilliant. Like, it's perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean perfect from like, this, you know, the perspective of what this game is. Oh, man, too bad I didn't get Peach. Well, Are You a Wizard would probably still do its thing, though. I'll take PhD. We could still run into pills. Not uh, Prescription Pixels live show. I don't know if she still does that. I know she's been really busy, so... I mean, she probably still will do it, but... Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're gonna... Hopefully I can get through this boss fight without taking a hit. It's really gonna depend on who it is. And... Like, honestly, if I'm not an idiot, I can definitely beat Monstro without taking a hit, but let's face it, I probably will take a hit. Especially because I gotta get so close. I really need a range upgrade, which is something I never thought I'd actually say. Oh man, that was close. That was also close. But see, yeah, I'm not really doing that much damage. I'm just kinda. spraying a lot of shots. Shit. Well, oh well. Uh, you know, well, at least now the our little buddy will help us out. That's pretty effective. So it's kind of like the crow. 
Um, Dead Crow, except Dead Crow is a trinket and not that good. So, no deal with the devil, but we did get a squeezy. Another tiers upgrade. I think we're still firing faster. Is there no limit to how fast you can fire in this game? That's what I'm starting to think. I don't know. But I really would like a damage upgrade. Hopefully we get one here. And it's a bummer that we didn't get the, uh, the health, but honestly, I, I mean, I think we're at a point now where we have so much health it's really not going to matter. Plus, if I never get a deal with the devil, it definitely doesn't matter. But I could get a deal with the angel. I did get like a faith upgrade, or a faith up. I'm taking hits though, which is making me think that I'm totally wrong about my ability to get through this without concern. Alright, I gotta get out over here. Okay, throw it. Good. Two of them is totally fine. These rooms that are filled with these guys are such a pain. We gotta get so close. You know what? Actually, I think that, honestly, I'd rather have a range upgrade at this point than a damage upgrade. And I'm sure there's a damage and range upgrade, but I can't think of what it would be. Ooh, what is that? Cursed Eye? What? Whoa! That's kind of cool. But I don't think I want this. Shit. I shouldn't have taken this. I mean, if it... Whoa, what the fuck? Is that from the Cursed Eye that just did that? Oh, I don't like this at all. I might have just broken this run. Damn it. Oh, these guys are annoying. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell how much I actually have to charge until I can shoot. This sucks. I'm real pissed. I went from an insane, like, uh, rate of, like, probably the fastest shots you can have to having to charge just to shoot four. Damn, dude. It really sucks. Like, it wouldn't be bad if I had, like, Polyphemus or something. I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel like this is a downgrade for sure. I mean, luckily, I'm still doing my cool little poison damage. Well, not poison damage, but creep. Acid, tear, I don't know what to call them. But, yeah, this isn't good. But I didn't even know what that was. Like, you know, I, it looked... I, yeah, I, I, had, I had no clue what that was. Um, and yeah, I'm sure at some point there's a benefit to this item. It's just not right now. Unless it's doing more damage, then that would be great. But I don't think it is. Oh, I was like, what is happening to him? He's dying, but why? It was because of my little fly friend. Who, I feel like the fly is doing a lot of damage. Well, no, yeah, because it's like an attack fly, isn't it? So, I mean, attack flies do a lot of damage. But they don't, you know, home in on enemies. Yeah, rooms like these suck because they make it so you're, uh... If you have a homing thing, like the fly... Shit. I'm assuming it will try to fly into one of those. Maybe not, though. Oh, this room sucks. Actually, this room's totally fine. Because the duty is just gonna hang on the spikes. It's just really hard to tell. So I can just, like, keep tapping. But it's really hard to tell when I can actually shoot. I'm so boned. I, well, you know, I learned my lesson. And it's, it is a new item, right? Like, I'm pretty sure this is new. I don't feel like I've ever seen this before. Does it matter how long I hold it? No, it shoots four no matter what. And that's what I, I'm assuming that the way this charge works is that it shoots four no matter what you do. Like, that's how it just usually functions. So the fact that we're shooting four shots now really means nothing. You know, we were able to shoot so many shots at once. That sucks, man. But yeah, I mean, this is working well because, like, when the eye pops out, we're still doing, uh, like, acid damage to it. It's like, 
Mom's being much more aggressive this time around. Oh no, here we go with this shit again. Fuck. This sucks. Yeah, I can't, like, I'm, this is literally going to take forever because every time I get, get hit, it's going to do that. And I can't get rid of that either, can I? Have I gone in here? Great, thanks. So yeah, I might be boned. Like, I'm not, I, and I don't know if that happens automatically or if it just seems to be happening every time I, you know, get hit. But it really sucks. Like, getting teleported out of the room when you get hit is not helpful at all. Okay, so it's not no, it's not automatic. It it just seems like it's luck based. I'm assuming, which is ironic because I don't feel lucky when it happens to me. But now we got our fly friend with. Oh jeez, I don't want to get hit. I don't want to teleport. Like honestly, the only thing I care about is getting teleported out of here. Shit. Now I'm just so focused on not getting hit. I'm getting hit a lot. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. Shit. Oh my god. I didn't even see it coming. Wow, that was terrible. I'm sorry, you guys. That was a bad run. Uh, I'm really bummed. Like, if it hadn't been for that cursed eye, this would have gone really, really well. Uh, I'm going to end the episode now, though. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it regardless. We got a new item, which is always good. A couple new items. But thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like the video. Hopefully next time we'll beat Mom. Really shouldn't be. Like I said, it sh we shouldn't have lost. Um, getting that weird charge thing kind of boned us. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.